Hey guys, this is just a quick video on the new interaction method in 0.3. So it kind of piggybacks on the old interaction methods in the first one, um, but it just adds another variable, which is time. So I'll just quickly show a little video or a little demonstration of how this works. So we have these spheres on the left, just like before, but as I look at them, you can see it starts a counter and adds to a variable how long you've been looking at it. Here we have it set to three seconds and after three seconds it changes between a kind of like orange to a red and also changes the text on the top. Uh, so we have the same blueprint on the right yet just different variables that we set up in the construction script which, a, which are publicly available so we can change them in the editor which I'll show you in just a sec. But as we see there's a stark difference between the one on the left and the one on the right. So this changes to a green, whereas this one changes to like a red. And we can see this one's um, time dilation is a lot longer as well. So if I just take it off, it'll eventually change back to that kind of creamy, pinky, pearly white. Um, so I'll just show you how quickly how we set those up. So let's go into construction script. Uh, so we have these variables, uh, base color, uh, the base color of after it's transitioned. So these are mainly thing you want to look out for is this editable. So that means these variables, which set up in this construction script, so they do every time it's created, um, it sets it up. So we see in here, these variables are in the default tab and they are editable in editor. So you've probably seen this before if you're uh, not new to blueprints, so I'm not going to go too much over it, but this just makes it so um, level designers and things can change things in editor, which without the need of code or anything like that, which is pretty nice. Um, so this isn't going to be a blueprint video, so I'm not going to linger too on it, too well on it. Um, but here we have the creating the dynamic material, which helps us drive these parameters in the material of this, which I'll show you just very quickly. So the second thing we need from this is the material. So it has this tag affected by time which allows it to be affected by time, but it also has in the material uh, these two parameters. So this is seconds looked at, which records how long you've been looking at it. And here I'm just using it in an interpolation to um, drive the alpha channel, which again, it's not gonna be a material video, so I'm not gonna go too much into it. But uh, if you wanna set it up, you can just ask in the forums and I'll try and answer any questions you might have. Um, so if we go here, we just set this dynamic material and then we again drive the base color, the uh, transition, transition color and the length of the transition, which is actually the time. So the next thing which kind of advances it and it's not just changing uh, colors is when we get this dy dynamic material, which is set up in the construction script and we get this seconds looked at parameter. And because this is driven by the player controller, if we get this in our blueprint, we can check to see if it's over the set amount of time we've put. And that's like, because it's a zero to one scale, if it's over one, then it's fully transitioned. So now we can call a function from within the blueprint when you've looked at it. So here's kind of like a lame example of just changing what's on the text display. Um, but you can think of a whole slew of different things you can do where, um, you have uh you can call a function when you've looked at something for some for a long period of time so you may have like puzzle mechanics or any kind of input in vr where you look at it for a while and then it slowly changes and then once you've beaten the puzzle and you look at this thing you can call a function where it plays a particle effect or a sound or something like that so these are just kind of the things that um, open up now that we have this time-based input, which is actually really nice. So that's going to just like the quick overview of how I go about setting this thing up. Um, if you want to check out, I have another video of how to set up uh, the uh, highlighting around the edges and stuff. Um, I'll put that in the description. And as well as that, if you make any changes to it and you make it better, uh, make sure to post it back to the forums. I'll definitely take a look and add it back into the uh, main thing or just use yours instead. As well, if you have any questions, post them in the forums. I'll check like nearly every day and I try to answer most of them. Um, if anything else, just make sure to uh, message me on Reddit or anything, email, uh, anything will do. 
Um, and, uh, anyway, until next time, I'll see you around.